I'm Jim Sakala from Dynotech Research, and I'm here to talk about the drum preserve systems and the, the new high flow uh, units that uh, my son Marty is manufacturing uh, next door. This is the standard uh, system. This is on a, a drum of uh, isopentane that we use here for uh, repairing stale race gas before we dyno test. Uh, this is the standard unit. Uh, it's, it comes with an aluminum bung. There's uh, uh, a siphon tube uh, made of uh, copper uh, water pipe, half inch copper that goes to the bottom, and that's what and the pressure on the nitrogen, uh, the, the nitrogen pressure on the liquid in the drum uh, pushes it out and dispenses it without uh, any outside air uh, contaminating it or allowing any of the um, the material to vaporize inside the drum. It's got a stainless steel uh, ball valve on it with a with a little locking device so you can put a padlock on it so nobody can take it or uh, put a pin in it for if you're traveling with it. Uh, it's also got a real high flow uh, safety relief valve which is really important. This high flow uh, safety relief valve is made in the US and it flows probably eight times more than the, the nitrogen inlet fitting, so it's virtually impossible to goof and overpressurize the barrel. Um, it's got a ball valve for shutting the nitrogen off here, and um, it's a, it has a custom uh, solid brass billet uh, nitrogen regulator that's made special with a, a low pressure, working pressure gauge so you can accurately set the pressure where you want it and equally importantly is a, important is a low pressure working pressure spring so if somebody goofs and turns the adjusting screw in thinking that they're turning the, the, the pressure regulator off it, it's impossible to have this create um, pressure that even comes close to the um, hydrostatic test pressure of a 30 or 55 gallon drum. So there's redundant safety features in here that makes it uh, very user friendly. Now um, there are new units that they've come up with. This one is um, all stainless steel with a uh, 316 stainless uh, siphon tube and this is for uh, food products, chemicals, um, any any sort of liquid that uh, you wouldn't want copper or aluminum um, touching. And then the other, the other uh, unique product that they've come up with is a, a real high flow um, drum preserve unit. And this, this particular one is, is all stainless steel and, they, and what they've done is eliminated the, the 3 8 um, valve, 3 inch pipe fitting and valve and gone to half inch and this was uh, done to uh, take care of people that wanted to deal with uh, more viscous, viscous fluids like oils and uh, syrups and also um, for people that, that need high, high volume of uh, gasoline for, for dyno testing. Uh, I've got one, one fellow in California that, uh, that builds uh, 3,000 horsepower uh, boat racing engines and he, he wanted to keep the pressure on his uh, drummed race gas that he uses in the dyno cell, especially in uh, Southern California where the temperature is real high. So uh, we came up with this high, high flow unit and with uh, 5 to 7 psi of nitrogen pressure, there's adequate uh, flow of uh, gasoline into the dyno room to feed 3,000 horsepower. So this is a, a new and excellent thing. This too has a, um, a locking uh, half inch stainless steel ball valve on it. So it, and the, the standard units that are have aluminum drum or aluminum bung and uh, use a copper uh, siphon tube still have a stainless steel uh, full port high flow uh, ball valve to control the outlet of the fluid.
So we have one more new thing that uh, Marty came up with was a, a, a double inlet and outlet uh, unit. This is 3 8 fitting with half inch hose. Uh, and this was, was designed for an application, again, for the dyno where um, a customer uh, feeds as an electric fuel pump that, that feeds the, the engine on the dyno and then has to return. So the, the second fitting can return the fuel to the, the tank and to the drum of uh, race gas. And again, the nitrogen uh, pressure on, on, the, on the gasoline prevents it from, um, from losing the front ends of the fuel. So that's the latest from uh, Drum Preserve. And all this is on, uh, on the website, drumpreserve.com.